this right here, you bunch of prima donna ballerina mother Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. We are running through all 32 teams' future odds in the NFL right now. We are just a, about a week away from training camp. And we're finishing up the AFC North with the Cleveland Browns, a team that finished fourth in that division just last year, but have improved slightly this offseason. They do look to be able to uh, probably contend a little bit better than what they did in uh, 2013. And right now their Super Bowl price, however, not really reflective of that at plus 7,500. They're not quite in the 100 to 1, 200 to 1, uh, to 1 ranges like, like four or five teams are right now in the basement, like, such as the Jaguars, Titans, and others. But they're not much better than them at plus 7,500, or is it 75 to 1. Now, they do have a couple of things uh, going on this uh, offseason. Mainly, uh, the big news, obviously, is the quarterback battle that's been going on between Brian Hoyer and Johnny Manziel. It's probably just about to heat up as we head into training camp. Hoyer obviously has been uh, really favored as the starter right now in Cleveland, but Johnny Manziel will push for the starting job, and it's really going to disrupt, I think, some of the things going on in Cleveland. However, for the long run, it's definitely in the better, uh, best of the, uh, interest of the team to uh, pick the right guy for this job long term. So expect a little bit of struggles with some of the offense uh, at the beginning, but uh, not too much once they get a firm starter in place for the rest of the season. Their AFC price right now also a little bit inflated, but pretty solid as well at plus 3,300. You don't expect them to do much, but you do expect them to be better than just horrible like they were last year. They at least should be competent winners of five or six, maybe even seven games this season. Eight and eight probably isn't even out of the question, but it is a long stretch for this club right now. But with their defense, the way they have it set up, I think they're going to be very good. They have a very solid defense, a very deep defense. Should have a very good pass rush and uh, their secondary a little bit uh, deeper this season as well with a couple of additions they brought over. So don't be surprised if Cleveland's defense drives them to six or seven wins this offseason. But their offense right now is where the main concerns are. Josh Gordon looks to be just pissing away his career. He's in trouble once again, facing a year-long suspension after not only testing positive for marijuana but also getting a DUI uh, recently over the last couple of weeks and other than him skill players not a lot of depth here they signed Andrew Hawkins and Miles Austin those two are probably the next receivers up on this depth chart after Josh Gordon and with Ben Tate now coming over to man the running back duties along with a rookie running back they drafted as well. Not quite sure they have enough to uh, really compete in a very tough division with three other very tough defenses in it. So not quite sold on them in their AFC price either. Speaking of that division, they're five to one to win the AFC North plus 500. Still, I think this price is in play. It's not, don't just write off the Cleveland Browns. I think they could definitely finish higher than fourth or even third in this division. They could potentially be the second best team, but I'm not, I'm not reaching that far. I do think the Bengals will regress the season. The uh, Ravens probably aren't gonna be that much better than they were last year. So it wouldn't surprise me to see the Browns make a run if they do indeed solve some of these issues like their skill players and their quarterback battle. But right now at five to one to win the AFC North, I'm not recommending it. But if we see some something in preseason, we could revise that once before the season starts in September. But that'll do it for me this time. Make sure you check out my other uh, future odds updates for this division as well as the other 31 teams in the NFL. But until then, I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of the Sharp Pick.